everyone. Welcome back to our channel, The Grammarican Dream, where all of our dreams come true one DIY project at a time. How's everybody doing today? I just wanted to hop on here and just say thank you so much to all of our new subscribers. We appreciate your kind words of encouragement. We really appreciate you guys being here to follow along our journey and we're just as excited as you are to see where it all goes. I wanted to come on and just have a little chat. I have a couple things to say. First off, I want to give a big thank you to Jared Crocker. Thank you so much, Jared, for shouting out our little minnow of a channel and this big sea of sharks. <laughs> Uh, we really do appreciate your kindness, so thank you for that. So with that being said, I do also want to try to explain a little bit better of what the Grammarican Dream is doing over here and this process that we're in and just help you better understand where, where we're at in our life. That way you can understand the next couple of videos because I believe I said in my intro, if you haven't seen that, please go back and watch that. I thought it was really cute. I realized afterwards it probably was veered more towards the women with my little picture collage I threw in there. The guys probably didn't really care for it much, but hang in there. It'll, it'll get better. Anyway. I wanted to better explain where we're at in life that and what the upcoming videos what you're gonna a little bit of what the upcoming videos are gonna be about because you I'm worried that you're gonna be disappointed in them because there's not a lot of detail it's just a lot of clips and pictures but the reason for that is because I never planned on actually documenting in detail or sharing this journey with anybody until just just a couple weeks ago. It was the end of August where I finally said, you know what, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel. I'm pushing my fear aside. I finally have a reason to do it. We've got this dream property that we never thought would be a reality. It's happening and I think it would be fun to share. I understand that there are a lot of other channels out there on YouTube that might have the same dream or be on a similar path that we are, but our, our dream had always been to just have a piece of land where that brings you peace, where you can have animals and just provide more for yourself. So we found our little piece of land, our, our little, we found our piece of land that brings us that peaceful feeling that you get. When, I don't know about you guys, but when I go into the woods, like when we're hiking and we're a few miles back in the woods and it's just us two and the dogs and in nature, and you just hear the birds and just the sound of the forest. It just brings you that peaceful, calm feeling that it just makes your heart happy. And that was the feeling that I, that's the feeling we wanted to live in. You know, we don't, being in town here, we wake up and there's horns blowing and there's people and there's dogs barking and there's fire whistles going off. We just wanted to find a place where we could wake up and have that that peaceful feeling that you get when you're just when you're happy. You know, it makes your heart it makes your heart happy. And that that is our farm property. Grandpa's farm. That's what we call it. That's what it's always been called for as long as I was growing up. That's how it was referred to was Grandpa's Farm. I don't think it's ever actually been a, a farm with animals. It's 
just how they refer to it, so that's what we call it. And we are the Grams, so Graham Paws, G-R-A-H-A-M, Graham Paws, P-A-W-S, Farm. I thought it was perfect. I know there's a lot of other channels that might have the same dream to, you know, go live on a piece of land and have animals and be able to provide for yourselves and quit the corporate job and provide your own needs. But of course, like who wouldn't want that dream? That's the, I would think that's the American dream. I don't know anybody that wouldn't want to be able to provide for themselves. And even at that, even though we're all on a similar journey, wanting the same things, just as you and I are human, it doesn't mean we're the same, you know, each one of us is an individual and we have our own life. We've all got, we all want different things, we all need different things, we all think different thoughts, we have different conversations, our personalities are different. So I think that's what really makes these channels so special. It doesn't matter if everybody's doing the same thing or not, it's the life that they're living and the, the journey that they're on that makes it, that makes it what it is, you know, it's, it's the people and how they're living their life and how they interact and how they have their conversations and what their relationships are like and what they enjoy doing or what's for supper, you know. We're all different. We all might be the same because we're human, but we're each individuals and every person's journey is gonna be different and that's what makes it special. So, I can tell you right now, you're not gonna find another Jason and Christy Graham in the world, let alone on YouTube. We're special in our own kind of way, so that's that and the other thing I wanted to talk about the only the other thing I actually came on to talk about I wasn't I got off on a rant there I just wanted to explain a little bit of this process that we're in that way you guys can understand um, some of the upcoming videos because I don't want you to be disappointed and I know it's gonna get better I'm, I'm practicing guys but this is the beginning, we've just started. This is a learning experience and a trial and error in everything that we're doing, like the, the whole journey. We, we've never done a lot of the things that we're doing, all these projects that we're doing, we've never done it before. We don't know what we're doing, but we're, we're making the effort and we're figuring it out as we go. And the same with YouTube, you know, I've never done YouTube before, I don't know how to, shoot a video and edit and do this and that it's trial and error and hopefully I figure it out and I get better so just hang in there with me okay but this process that we're on as I said Jason and I we're right now we're going back and forth between here at our house in town and the farm property we got the camper and pulled it in down there the first of May so that's when our our journey so that's when our journey began was the first of May. And from May up until just a few weeks ago, the end of August, I I wasn't recording everything and I wasn't videoing everything in detail. I was just taking pictures and short clips here and there, just you know, like anyone would, just don't have the memories. So in the next couple of videos they're probably just going to be a bunch of stuff mashed together of what I had from then till now, just showing different parts of our projects, and there's not a whole lot of detail in them, so I just wanted to put that out there to you guys to show you what we did, and then later on down the road, once I catch you up to current if you guys have any questions about what we did or how we did it, please just ask and Jason can let you know because he's the one that does most of the things. 
I can, t I can tell you how to run a lawnmower, but other than that, he is, he is the man that does it all and makes all of my dreams come true. So that's what uh, the next couple videos are going to be. It's just the pictures that I had and a few short clips of where we started at. You'll see I did not get us bringing the camper in, but there is a story behind that. And after the next couple of videos come out, I'll tell you about that. So we, we brought the camper in the 1st of May, and then it actually sat over beside a little lean-to that we had because Jason pulled it home with his 17-foot van. Our camper is 40 foot long, so you can imagine how that went because we have a gate at the start of the driveway that's, I believe they're, the posts are 10 foot wide, 10 foot apart. We're trying to bring this eight foot camper. Well, it's we're trying to bring this eight foot wide camper that's 40 foot long on top of the 17 foot van. So I really wish I would have gotten that on video, but I will tell you guys about it. And then we, we got it in. And then from there, we wanted to move it over beside the house where it's sitting now. So first, before we even moved, before we moved the van, after we got it in, he had to level out the ground beside the house where we wanted to put it. So I've included a couple pictures of leveling out the ground. And then once the ground was level, we got the camper hooked up to the tractor. We used the tractor to move it from where it was sitting over beside the house. And we were on walkie talkies he backed the camper all the way down the driveway and then had to pull it. He backed it all the way down the driveway and then up into the side of the field and then he had to come back out and make a U-E in the field to get the back end to the house. And once he got the back end, he backed it up into the spot. You'll see the spot that he made, and it was perfectly wide for the camper. He backed it in once, and it was sitting a little crooked. The, the front end was a little crooked, and I was like, I don't know if we should move it. I'm scared it's just gonna just go more crooked. That was really hard to get in there. But he did it. He pulled it out, and backed it back in, and we were on the walkie-talkie, and keep going, keep going. Good, we got it. Two tries, we got the camper into its spot where it sits, it's level. After we got the camper backed in, we immediately put it on blocks. And if you guys have a camper that sits stationary, I really recommend the blocks. Because that thing, before it was on blocks, anytime anyone was in it, it was shaking felt like I was going to tip over, so we got it blocked up, and then he started the skirting, and for the skirting, we used uh, timber that was laying around because we're trying to be as cost efficient as we can. We had a bunch of lumber laying around, so we used the lumber to skirt it. Once the front side was skirted, we got insulation, started insulating that side. Once that side was insulated, we went around. Jason went around and finished the skirting all around the camper and we went in and finished insulating the underneath of the camper and then we got it the skirting painted. Meanwhile while he's doing all of the skirting and the insulating that's not really something I can help with. He's taking measurements and cutting boards and running nail guns and I can't help with that. We like to work together when we can, but that's not something I can help with. Neither of us like standing around watching, doing nothing. So while he's doing something that I can't help with, I'm off doing something else. Normally mowing. So I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, the upcoming videos, I didn't start 
I didn't start filming in detail and I hadn't decided to share this and actually start documenting until just a few weeks ago. So everything that I have from May until the end of August is basically just a few pictures and a few short clips all matched together just so I can try to get you guys up to current so we can just move along. Keep it moving. Just wanted to let you guys know that because I don't want you thinking that that's how the videos are going to be. That's just what I had because I wasn't documenting at that point in time. So I'm just going to put together what I have from previously and then you'll see once we get caught up to current. So please hang in there with us. It is a journey. It's a process. We're getting there. We're not there yet. I also wanted to try and explain a little bit better this process that we're in, going back and forth. Jay I said this previously, so I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but Jason and I are currently going back and forth living here at our house in town Monday through Friday because we both work full-time jobs. As I said, his job is more lenient. He could be off one week and down at the farm working or he could be out of town. My job, however, I it, it's a job requirement for me to be wired to the internet. And since we don't have the ability for me to work down there yet. We're going back and forth. So until we're, we've got our needs set up for us to be able to live comfortably and work, we're waiting to move in until we have our necessities. That is another thing. Jason and I are only able to get down there a couple days a week on the weekends. So that's why it's going to be a long, slow process for us because we're working full-time Monday to Friday and then we, just, we, we only have a couple days down there to try to get as much as we can done. But hang in there with us, guys. We're going to get there eventually. I'm so happy to have you along for the journey. You guys here now, you're the true MVPs. You're here from the beginning. I'm excited to see where it's going to go. Thanks for all your support, you guys. We really appreciate you being here and following along. But we're not just wanting you here to follow along our journey. At one point, this was just a dream of ours. We never thought it would be a reality. And it's happening. So we just want to also be a supporter to everyone else you know that there's enough good in the world that anyone can succeed and if you have a dream or if there's something you want to do you know take the leap it's worth getting out of your comfort zone and taking that risk dreams do come true you can do it and we want to be of encouragement to you guys and to be an inspiration to you as well you know there was that uh that little um, verbiage in the intro that I, re I really loved. I wrote that down probably or I saved that from it was from two to three years ago it was the, uh, the, the quote a dream, a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken down into steps becomes a plan a plan backed by action becomes reality and that is the truth, guys. If there's something you want to do, it's not impossible. Change your mindset. Be positive. And don't put yourself in a box. Stop putting limits on yourself because you can do it if you want it bad enough. It can happen. It might take work, but it, as long as you put in the effort, you can make your dreams come true as well. If there's something you want to do, don't let fear stop you. Take the leap, get out of your comfort zone, make a plan, and just take little steps one day at a time, and eventually those dreams can become a reality. 
So thank you so much for your support. We also want to encourage, inspire you guys. Thank you so much for following along. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And hit that bell if you want to be notified when we post new videos. Enjoy the video, guys. See you in the next one.
Bye. channel uh, extra thank you to you guys because that helps us become visible and helps us grow to other viewers on YouTube and it really shows your support